Okay, so if you've gotten a template from me, you're actually going to get two templates, okay? So we're in Canva, of course, if you go to position. So when you open one of my templates, it's going to look like this. So how I can show you, it's like a solid shape or vector. See, it's like a white shape of the fan, okay? This is what you're going to use first. Um, when you open my um, template, it's like transparent, you know? You just have a little bit of shadow. That's how we're going to use this, okay? Uh, I'm going to hop out of that one. And, and the frame, of course, is another one is separate. So we're not ready to use the frame just yet, okay? So, um, so what I do is whenever I'm designing, I keep it in there. So see, it's right here. So what you're going to do is you're going to stay within this frame. You're not going to print it out. You're not going to save it. You notice, if you say you have a template and you like using certain items, but you don't want to delete them in Canva, just take the transparency to zero. It won't print out. You won't see it. It'll just still be there. So we still want to see our, um, you know, our shape so we know what to stay within. I've already had my images uploaded here. And uh, we're going to do uh, Green Bay. And um, see how she's kind of not in the shape. Okay. So you're going to click on it. And you're going to go to Crop. And you just kind of play with it. Bring it down. Click off. Um, my goal is to at least have some of the logo in the background, but not all, because we're kind of trying to, you know, see CR or whatever. We're not going to use those words. Um, so it's like, it's in there, but it's not. So I kind of like the uh, G down there. So, um, and I just kind of keep messing with it until I get it where I, where I want it, right? Um, I've been using uh, this smoke here just because I like it and then I'm going to find me a green either green or yellow to change it to so the green's not bad and um, I could either use the same lady I don't really like the hair on that one but pretty much what I'm doing is taking the AI images that I created Removing the background and putting them where I want them. Like, that's going to have a little, sometimes the AIs have, I don't know if that's a watermark or it looks like somebody's fake signature on them. Whatever the case may be. But I'm moving things around, giving them a shadow, putting them where I want them at. Um, so, yeah. Once I have everything where I want it, um, we're good to go. So say I really can't stand this little writing there. I'm going to go to Ed, Magic Erase, and just take it out. I don't really know what that is. So, and that is pretty much it. I just kind of kept it simple, you know, blah, blah, blah. So. Now you're like, we still have this frame, right? We don't want to see this frame. Okay, so go back to your frame template, which is pretty much a vector. So you're going to need to, we're using two. We're using like the, the vector or the shape, hollow, or solid is the word I'm looking for. But anyway, we're going to take it down to zero. Bam, it's not, it's not in there, right? This is your image, okay? So you're going to save this as your PNG. That's what I was like when I was offering these. I don't know if I should... So you have both or just a shape. Because some people, they either don't know how to do this part or we are saving a step by providing this part for them. So let's see, mine are right here in this file. So I don't know if you'll get both images or just uh, the cutout. So now we're ready to use the frame. A lot of people want to just go ahead and jump in and use the frame. So now we're ready to use the frame. So pretty much your only thing to do is go to uploads, find it, and you're going to drag and drop. So now you're ready to drag and drop. So here, run it over it. So, yeah. And that's it. That is it. I hope that helps someone. 
Um, like I said, if you got the ones from me, you're going to get two. You're going to get a link to the camera frame, and you're also going to get a link to the solid frame. So I just showed you how to use the solid frame or vector. I'm not exactly sure what you want to call it. But you're going to get both of those. So you're going to get this one, and you're going to get this one. Because you need this one to design it. And then this is the one that you're going to drag, drag and drop in. Um, so I don't know. I hope that helps someone. <laughs>